Hey, what's up guys? Sam here with Custom PC Review, and today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the Galaxy GTX 560 2GB video card. This is the GC edition, so it is factory overclocked. It does have a custom cooling solution, and it does include a three-year warranty. This is a PCI Express video card, so you will need a PCI Express X16 slot available on your motherboard and it does have two gigabytes of video RAM. So right now I'm just going through the box very quickly because this is pretty much all marketing materials and things like that. So on the back here, you are looking at what Galaxy thinks is the eight reasons why you should buy a Galaxy graphics card. And all this stuff applies to not only Galaxy video cards, but all video cards as well. So right there was Y Galaxy. Down here are the minimum system requirements and it's pretty much you're gonna need a PCI Express slot. You also need two six pin PCI Express power connectors. And so we're gonna see that once we unbox this video card later. On back here, it does show you what is included. However, we are gonna unbox this so you will be able to see what's in it anyway. All right guys, so while I unbox this, I am just gonna read a couple specs off for you guys. So you kinda of have an idea of what you can expect from this card. And it has a 850 megahertz core clock, which is overclocked from 810 megahertz stock. A 1700 megahertz shader clock, overclocked from 1620 megahertz. 336 processor cores. Has a 256 bit memory interface. Two gigs of GDDR5, and an effective memory clock of 4.8 gigahertz. It is also DirectX 11 compatible and has PhysX support and of course it is also SLI ready. So right here I am going through a couple of manuals and those kind of things that come bundled with the video card. You can see right here we do have an adapter for VGA to DVI. We also have a HDMI adapter as well. All right guys, so now that we've taken a look at all the accessories, we will take a look at the video card itself. And as you can see, the video card is encased in a static free bag. Right here as I pull it out. And the first thing that you'll notice about this video card is its custom cooling solution. And as you can see here, it's got two what looks like to be 92 millimeter fans sitting on top of the heatsink itself. And the entire case looks like it's got a, it's got like a plastic case, very futuristic kind of spaceship looking um, design going all around it. Or you can see GeForce GTX 500 series. And those are the two six pin connectors. So make sure your video card has two of them. And on the back here, we can see some solid state capacitors. So that's always a nice touch. And you do know that there are some pretty good components in here. And I did forget to mention earlier, but there are three heat pipes running along the video card's heatsink, as you can see here. And so it should provide for some pretty good cooling. And right at the bottom, you do see the PCI Express X16 slot. Up here, there is the SLI finger. And in the back, you have two DVI ports and an HDMI. So here's the back of the video card. As you can see, the heatsink is mounted on with some pretty solid looking screws. And that is pretty much it. All right guys, so I do have a couple more shots of the video card itself that I am going to roll through. And while it's doing that, I do want to give special thanks to Galaxy for providing this video card to me for review. A full review with benchmarks will be out in the next few days, so definitely stay tuned for that. 
Until then, like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.